Hello everyone, I'm the Mole Man and welcome back to Flight Simulator X Steam Edition where today we're doing the Hawaiian checkout mission. I'm looking forward to this one because Hawaii's pretty. And I'm like, yeah, so yeah, that's the thing. 45 minutes, so you know, it could take a little while, but you know, hopefully if I don't crash, we'll be fine. <laughs> right, we're going to go from Molokai to Maui by the looks of things, so that should be fun indeed. Please load the briefing faster, game. I'd love it if you did. Come on. There we go. Right. We're flying the Mooney M20M Bravo. Very nice indeed. Objective lands at Hana Airport. Okie dokie. Well, this looks not too bad, does it? So let's just dive right in. Well, we're in. Since this is a checkout flight, you get to do all the flying. Could, to do make I? It easier, I'll handle the radios. Fantastic. Let's get out of here before the lunchtime rush. Yeah, Once let's. We're airborne, I'll fill you in on where we'll go. Okay. Um, I'm gonna want ground, Mooney, one, two, GPS. Three, like oh my god, that's a confusing GPS. Alright, okay. I love that over here. Boom! Mooney, one, two, three, Mike Sierra. Taxi to runway five via taxiway alpha. Taxiway alpha, Where, where's that? Five via alpha. Three I don't know. Alpha. I don't know where to go. Okay. Release the brakes and turn right onto taxiway alpha. Taxi, uh, that way. Okay, right, let's go that way then. Um, bit of throttle. Just, just a smidge of throttle, just to get us going. Come on. Come on, plane. Move! How much throttle do you need to get these things to go? There you go, that'll do. That should just 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 kick start it, we'll be fine. Oh wow, this yeah, this plane's really slow. I've never flown this before. Oh, so this seat back's really far back, isn't it? It's very, very far away indeed. Just zoom in a tad. Um So yeah, I'm assuming this way is what we want. Yeah, it looks like it. Cool, cool indeed. Wait, see it. Did you? The right guy to fly with. Nice. Be a lot of fun. Hawaii's a beautiful place, and there's no better way to see it than from an airplane. Okay. Well, I'm flying Just with the invisible down, man then. You taxi any faster than you can walk. Um. Well, I'm sitting well, down, so maybe I shouldn't move at all then. It's just a chance for you to get acquainted with the local area and for Is it? Okay. Flight, you'll be able to rent an airplane from us and fly on your own. Well, I, I don't, I doubt that. I doubt that, sir. Runway one seven three five. So look both ways, then go ahead and taxi across. Yep, look both ways, just like when you're crossing the road. Except, you know, you won't get hit by a car, you'll get hit by a several ton heavy aircraft. So, um, I'd watch out for that. You see, you, tax you shouldn't taxi faster than you can walk. But, um, nah, screw that. I mean, you know, what's wrong with, what's wrong with it? I mean, we've got brakes, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I've been practically centerline the whole way. It's going well. See, look, now we're going too slowly. Should we, get, should we get some lights on? Let's get some lights on indeed. Again, what is that reflecting? It looks like it's very generic, but whatever. Whatever indeed. Uh, let's get back in the cockpit. Um, I'm also going to move down to this again so you guys have a bit more of a better view of it. Hopefully. Because, you know, I, I can't record the whole window because I've got a weird monitor. True facts, yo. Um, come on, can we go a bit faster, please? Come on, let's get up to that 10. There we go. 10 knots. That's, that's alright, isn't it? That's alright indeed. So hopefully this shouldn't, this shouldn't go horribly wrong. I mean, looking at it, we're just going to take off and fly in a straight line at the moment. Looking at my, looking at the GPS, which you guys can see down there, so that's good indeed. If I'm going to think about it, if we zoom out and then move forward, no, move forward. That might do it. That's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, because then yeah, because then we're, it's like we're leaning forward a bit. That's a bit better. All right, okie dokie, okie dokie. Field of view, but more zoomed in. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, why not? Right, so then we take off and then we go for a lovely fly over Hawaii. What we don't need... What lights don't we need on? Um, I'm trying to have a look. What have we got? Taxi lights, they need to be on. Uh, strobe, yeah, we'll keep strobe on. Oh, we'll just leave all the lights on, shall we? Yeah, we'll turn the... T oh, actually, we'll turn the taxi light off okay, now. Okay, stop here and I'll get our takeoff clearance. Okay, stopping. Molokai Tower. Moon that was a good stop. Three, Mike Sierra, ready to go. Runway five. Yep, yeah, we're ready to go. Come on, give me the give me the clearance. Right. Clear for takeoff. Right. Okie dokie. All set. Let's go flying. I am about takeoff to go flying. Runway heading. Rotate at about 65 knots in this airplane. All right. Okie dokie. I can do that thing. Let's hope our um. Let's hope our roof doesn't sure off or anything, shall we? Let's let's hope that doesn't happen. Right. Okie dokie. Um. Yep. Yeah. Straight down there, take off, runway heading. We can do that, indeed. In fact, the GPS shows runway heading, so we should be fine. We should be fine. Right. Notch your flap. Put the brakes on. Oh, yeah, right. Stand on the brakes. Let's bring that engine up. 
And here goes nothing. Yeah, one notch of flap will be alright, wouldn't it? Here goes nothing. Here goes absolutely nothing indeed. Oh, this could go horribly wrong. Right, now, it's just, there we go. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Right. How, how fast are we going? Going 40 knots. I've, put, I've pulled up the info at the top of the thing. Uh, and that's 55 knots. What did he say? 65. And that's 65. Rotate. You lied to me. Here we go. Right, here we go. No, 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 no. Up, up, up. Gear up. Fantastic. Flaps up. And Climb we... speed in this airplane is about 90 knots. Keep the throttle full and adjust pitch to maintain 90 knots. Alright, well, I'm about 90 knots. That's fine. Okay. So now we just climb a bit to keep it at 90. There we go. We are airborne. Wrong buttons. Um, there we go. We are airborne indeed. We're about still staying at staying about 90 knots. We're slightly off runway heading. Um, so yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I can see that. You don't have to fly that route. I'm in no rush, so feel free to explore along the way. Okay. There might be some whales in the channel between Molokai and Maui. You can fly wherever you want, and I'll tell you about some of the things we fly over. Really? If I can make a suggestion, you might want to start by continuing offshore a bit, then following the north shore of Molokai to the east. You'll get a great view of some spectacular cliffs. Will I? So you you'll as high as you want. When you level off, don't forget to bring the power back. Okay, right, so basically what you're saying is I can go wherever I like. Woohoo! Okay, right, we'll go over here then a bit, shall we? We'll, we'll fly just off the just off the coast for a little while and just have a have a bit of a fly. Oh, look at that. Pretty! Never flown, yeah, I've never flown this aircraft before. Um, so it could go horribly wrong, but according to what I've done so far, it's not gone that badly. You know, so, you know, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed indeed. Right, so how fast are we meant to be going? Because he said, I've, I'm going at 140 knots. Is that a bit too much? Probably. Do we care? Not really. If it says over speed, I'll slow down. That's how I work this thing. 150 knots. Oh boy. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So he said to look at the, he said to look at the cliffs. Um, there you go. Cliffs. How about that? Are you happy now? Looking at the cliffs. Ta-da. Look at those lovely cliffs. Very nice indeed. Yeah, there is a runway there. Should I fly over the runway? Um, in fact, I think I'm... I've, I'm more or less still on the right flight path, which is pretty weird. Um, so, yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing indeed. So, I'm just gonna... Yeah, just gonna fly like this. We'll fly over the runway really low, I reckon. Really low indeed. Because, you know, why not? What have we got to lose? Absolutely nothing, apart from our lives. I'll try not to lose that. It'd be good if we didn't. Let's zoom out a smidge, just so we can see a bit more. That's Kalahupapa Peninsula up ahead. It has an interesting history. In 1873, a Belgian priest named Father Damien arrived to care for 600 sufferers of Hansen's disease who had been banished there. Wow. Today, the peninsula is a national historical park, and there's still a small settlement. The only access to the peninsula is by mule trail or airplane. That's Kalahupapa Airport on the point. Ah. Right next to it is Molokai Light, the tallest U.S. lighthouse in the Pacific Ocean. Really? Wow. That's, that's actually really nice information. If it's a national park, I better not crash. Um, okay. Oh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll fly over it, shall we? Yeah, we'll fly over it. Nearly going 200 knots. That's kind of scary. We'll fly over this instead, then, so we can have a have a look down there. So this is this is a national park. Very nice indeed. Good to know. Right, where am I going now? Oh, the path says to go this way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fly. The, the, the path it shows, but I'm going to need my altitude back. Like a lot of my altitude back. So that's 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 fun. Uh, what did he say? The climbing speed was 90 knots. Oh good, I've got a lot of speed to lose then. So that, we should get nice and high. Nice and high indeed. And that's high in the altitude sense, not high in the other sense. Looks like a, a huge boulder sort of just like, you know, been like, carved out of that hill there. Look at that. That's really weird. Very pretty though. I do like it. I do like it indeed. Um, we need to seriously get some climbing thing done if we want to make it over this mountain. Because looking at the GPS, it's sort of a. Uh, if I show you there, if you if you can see, I shall show you. Um, there, like you can see, we're, we're sort of flying along the straight line right now, and yeah, that should be easy enough, right? Right. Please say right. You know what? gonna save just to make sure because I can go round the, the the mountain if we have serious problems sorry it's gone screen's gone black what should I call it guard 
I'll call it guard, because why not? Random keys. Um, yeah, we, yeah, I don't want to crash. That's the thing. That's the thing. We're nearly at, yeah, 1,880 1, feet. That's not too bad, is it? We should be all right. We should be all right. <coughs> uh, uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not dying. Along this coast are the highest sea cliffs in the world. The tallest ones are 3,600 feet above the water. Are they? Oh, we've got, got some climbing to do then. North Shore of Molokai, but geologists now think that the cliffs were sculpted by waves. Whatever it was, the result is pretty spectacular. It is I mean, indeed. You it unless you're on a boat or on an airplane. Yeah, it is very nice indeed. Should we try and fly over that one? Uh, no. Oh, I need altitude, is what we've decided. I shouldn't have really descended towards that place, but whatever. Whatever. Um, but we do need to cut across the other side of the island, according to the GPS. So, where, where can I do that thing? Um, I like I like the virtual cockpit, though. It's very sort of informative. You can see your speed, your altitude. You know, you've got a nice big horizon indicator, or attitude indicator, whatever you want to call it. And um, one GPS that even shows colour under the speed there, which is pretty nice. So, um, yeah, it's all in all, it's a very nice little aircraft. Was it, Mo was it called Mooney Bravo or something? Something like that. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a weird name, but whatever, 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 it'll be fine. I'm reckoning if we keep on... Yeah, we've got, was it 3,600 feet, he said, is the tallest one. If I can get above that, I will be a happy mole, man. And then we'll get back on course, because, you know, we don't want to die horribly. Oh, look at that. Green arrows of death. Not not green arrows of death. Look at that. That is a screenshot waiting to happen. Why did it make the shrink sound? Oh my god. Okay, hang on. I've got th I've got um, about 40 knots to kill off. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Trace, 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 trace. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, ho, ho. okay. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Okay, we made it. Right, good, 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 good. I am a pro at flying. I am a pro at flying. Right, let's go over here. And, um, right, I've only got about... Get on the right camera, my man. Right, okie dokie. I've got, yeah, about 17 knots before I'm below climbing speed. So that could be a bit of a problem. But it should be fine. It should be fine. We're over the highest... No, we're not, though, are we? Oh, the highest cliff. We've still got to get over the goddamn mountains. I'm trying to get back on course. Um, don't let me fly a plane in Hawaii. It would cause problems in life. And probably the lack of having a life once we're done with it. So, yeah, don't let me do that thing. Yeah, it's, it's green arrows everywhere. Um, trees! Oh, God! <laughs> How did we survive that? <laughs> I think... It's the wing, okay? Uh, please tell me that dent was there before we took off. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's not do that again. No, let's not do that again. Where are we right now? Look at this big... This is like where you find the balloon in Just Cause 2. Wow. Um, it's just, yeah. Wow. Okay. What's that down there? I see a thing. What is the thing? Let's get the right camera. I'm terrible with the cameras in this game. And then when I go into train simulator, I hit all the wrong keys. Ah, it's a ferry. Yeah, I, I, I always hit the wrong keys in this game. I always sort of like try to cycle wrong and then do stuff wrong. I'm going to... Where's the zoom out button on the GPS? I want to have a look. Is that it? Change pages then groups. No, is that it? Tuner knob. No, is that it? Course adjust. No, is see there's one called range, but it doesn't do anything. Um, tuner. No, I don't. I don't know how to change it. I want to see like more of the more of where I'm going. But whatever, whatever, we'll be fine. I just we're back on course more or less now. So yeah, as we um as we fly over part of Hawaii, which is very nice indeed. There's so many different bits and bobs of like information. It's really confusing. Oh well. I wonder where this is going to take us then. Um, looks like over there, by the looks of things. Well, if we're flying in a straight line, then yeah, duh. Um, looking at the um, looking at the GPS, yeah, we've got some sort of semicircle coming up or circle. Pink circle. Is it is it of death or of life? I I hope it's not death. Um, I don't want to die when I enter the enter the circle. That would not be fun. Um, so yeah. But look at this. Lovely. Lovely indeed. Can we get a, can we get a nice shot with scenery going past? No, of course we can't. Um, cast, of course we can't. What was that? What was what accent was that? I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Just just being randomness. Just just being randomness. That makes sense. So yeah, 
Um, do do do. Just notice something with the recording. It's not affecting anything. Just want to click a click a little sick box. There we go. Right. Boom. It said there was a minimized window, and that's from a live stream. So that's that's true facts right there. Um, yeah. Because one thing I've noticed about noticed about this game, and it's probably because of how old it is, but every single window opens as or every single thing opens as a new window. Is it? Really? Humpback whales like to swim through these channels too. Wow. They come down here from Alaska in the winter to give birth to their young in the warm waters, then swim back for the summer. Do they? Wow. Keep our eyes open. Maybe we'll see one. Oh, nice. Let's have a look for some whales. Um, let's just do some zooming in. Can we see anything? What's that down there? I see a, I see a blob. Is that one? Is that a boat? Oh my God! My flying is terrible. I can't see. Sorry if, sorry about the seasickness bit right there. Um. Don't actually know. Where's the nearest? Can we see our aircraft from here? No, that's a terrible camera. Right. Oh my God! Like, don't climb like that. Oh God. Okay. Right. That was a bit, bit of wind, but whatever. Um. I, th I, 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 I'm, I can't tell if that's a well down there or not. Um. No, nah, it's a boat. I don't know if I'm going to see whales because, um, you know, I've kind of got the settings so I'm rather low. Can we see anything? Let's have, a, let's, let's have a bit of a gander, shall we? Nope, can't see anything. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind, indeed. Oh, we're going a bit off course, but it doesn't matter. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Um, so, yeah. Apparently, there's an airport down there somewhere, but we, we, we won't try and hit that. Oh, my God, the flying's all over the shop. Um, let's try and try and... The state's second largest island. It was formed by two volcanoes, Haleakala, Ooh. which is over 10,000 feet tall, and another one which formed the West Maui Mountains. The valley between the mountains used to be underwater, but over time the valley floor rose to form Maui as it looks today. Wow. Some people say that if the polar ice caps melted, the valley would be underwater again. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen people then, shall Maui we? like to say, Maui no ka oi. Maui is the best. Even from up here, you can see that it's a pretty special place. Yeah, it looks it. Looks very nice indeed. As it pops into rendering distance. Very nice indeed. There's a slight turn, as you can see on the GPS there, and there is, the, I'm assuming that big circle's like the um, area around the airport. I reckon that's its airspace, is what, I'm, is what I'm guessing here. Is what I'm guessing here indeed. Where should we have a look at? I don't, I don't want to deviate off the course too much, because, you know, uh, last time I went through a tree. So let's, let's not do that again. But, you know, I hope we make it over that mountain. That'd be, that'd be useful. And when he say 10,000 feet, we're going at nearly 6,000 feet. Yeah, it would crash into that, I reckon. Um, I don't know where this GPS course is set to take us. It's very, very pretty around here, isn't it? Look, look at all. Look at all the the, the the the. We're flying over the boat that was causing me problems earlier. Oh look, there it is. Is that the prison that he was on about? Did he mention? Did he say it was a prison? I can't actually remember. But as we fly over another airport, this looks fantastic. There's a ferry there. Look at that. Very nice scenery indeed. And this is default scenery. Imagine if I bought, like, Hawaiian scenery. Imagine how low the frame rate would be, but how pretty it would be at the same time. I'm sure it would be lovely indeed. Lovely indeed. Right, let's get back in where we should be if we're... That's not a useful view. There's another plane down there, but we don't care. Um, we're getting a, spit, a, a, a smidge off course. So let's let's get back that's on that thing. Town of Lahaina down below. Is it? In the early 1800s, it was the capital of Kamehameha's Hawaiian Kingdom. Oh, camera's been weird. Moved to Honolulu, but Lahaina was still booming, mostly as a stopover for whaling ships. Ah. In those days, more than 500 whaling ships stopped at Lahaina every year. Right. Today, tourism is the main industry. I'm sure it is. Great shops and restaurants down there. Not really? I'm hungry. Let's go. No, I'm joking. <laughs> go to a drive-through or a fly-through. McDonald's need that for aircraft. They just need like a place where the helicopter can sort of pull up and say, "Can I have a Big Mac or something like that?" You know. That would be pretty funny indeed. Um, it's just flying more or less on course. You know, this is like a legit flight. In fact, do we have a... Um, is any of this an autopilot? I really don't know if any of that is even remotely related to an autopilot. So I won't I won't try and play with that. I won't try and play with that at all. Only approaching 7,000 feet. Would you look at that? We're going 135 knots. Very nice indeed. Let's try and get a... Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful plane is beautiful. Have I? I've only flown like one jet in this series so far, haven't I? And I've tried flying a glider. I've flown a couple of helicopters, but you know, 
I suppose it's just a thing, really, isn't it? I wonder when, when I wonder when we'll next get to fly some something that's related to a jet. Um, I don't know. I haven't really looked at many of the missions ahead. I think there is one where you got to do like an A3, an Airbus A321 at the Paris Air Show, which could be a bit of a laugh, which could be a bit of a laugh indeed. But mostly with the, with these missions, it's not going too badly, is it? And I've only had a couple of big fails. Um, you know. As, I mean, that would have killed me in real life, but as far as it goes, it's not too bad. So yeah, we're 35 nautical miles away from Hana Airport, which is over there. Um, so yeah, what's down there? That looks fun. What's down there And D, Is that another airport? Yeah, that's another airport. Which one of these airports did that plane that I mentioned earlier, that it, what was it? Aloha 243. Which one did that land at? Was it the one that's over there? I, I don't know. But I do, because it landed in between two mountains or something, didn't it? I think, I can't remember. I can't remember. It's, I, that's the first air crash investigation I ever saw. That was, was was um, hanging by a thread. Yeah, good good times. Um, as I watched many episodes after that, many indeed. So yeah, that's that was the thing. The wind is at 350 degrees at zero knots. Oh, it's a completely calm day apparently. Oh my god, what was the camera doing there? <laughs> camera, stop being stupid, please. Thank you. Thank you. Where am I? Where am I? There I am. There we are indeed. Um, the, 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 the camera's going all really weird. Okie dokie. Let's not look at that anymore then. Going slightly off course, but whatever. We'll just get back on there. Get back on there indeed. I do like this. I do like this aircraft. It seems very nice to fly. I'm not sure if it'd be my like, escape from the sort of zombie apocalypse aircraft. Because it's like, you know, a bit small. I mean, what have you got? If you if you if you did the YouTuber getaway thing like the YouTuber tag, yeah, you can only get three other people in here. I mean, like I probably want to take a couple more people on my gang as as the YouTube thing. Obviously, Game of Seventy Five would be sitting here helping me fly the plane, um, and then we'd just like probably end up crashing. <laughs> whatever, whatever, indeed. I don't know who else I'd take with me, really. Random questions, indeed. Um, how fast are we going? One hundred and thirty-seven knots. Because knots is like nautical miles per hour, isn't it? Or something like that? I don't know. I think it is. I think it is. I'm not. I'm a bit of a noob when it comes to that lot. A bit of a noob indeed. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, look at this. There's an Airbus down there. Speak of the devil. Let's have, see if we can zoom in and see you. Oh my god, I can see it. Oh my god, hang on. Oh, my. So, but right, let's zoom back out. Alright, and let's actually use the, the static movement of the camera instead of my terrible camera manoeuvres. I want to have a look at the Airbus, see what livery it is. Is that, is that Pacifica? I think it is. Yeah, it's Pacifica. Where, what is my plane doing? What is my plane doing? Get back over here, you. Okay. Is it the torque that's causing that problem? Probably. Um, so yeah, where's this flight path taking us? We're going so far away. Are we flying over that mountain then? Flying, or flying over that little... Um, Little island, I mean, and then flying back. Probably. I reckon that's what we're going to do. And then we'll fly back over past that mountain over there. See, I'm clever. Yeah, that Airbus is obviously going to land over there. Very nice indeed. Have fun on your uh, Hawaiian-related holiday, if that's where you're flying to. Well, you are. If that's why you're flying here, is what I meant to say. Because, you know, that makes sense. I did, like, retract the flaps earlier, didn't I? Yeah, I didn't want to make that noob mistake. Oh, dear. What, ev what even use is that camera? I mean, seriously. Okay, a few years ago, I was flying right around here pretty low, and I looked down at the water, and a humpback whale breached right where I was looking. Really? He jumped right out of the water as if he knew I was watching. Wow. To this day, it's one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. I'm sure it is. That sounds pretty cool. However, I'm too high for to see that, because I'm scared of being low around these mountains. But, you know, that's just technicalities, isn't it? And besides, the more trees the game has to load. Oh, yeah, there's that Airbus going into, f going into landing. Very nice indeed. Have fun. Have fun with that. Oh, my God. This is quite the... Um, I've just looked at the, the, the path, and I see what, I'm see i seeing what it's doing. It's put, we've got to actually do a turn and then line up for that airport over there. And then fly over that runway. Oh, boy. Airbus, we're coming in to follow you at some point, looking at the GPS. If you look down at the GPS down there, if, you have, if we have a brief gander at that, like you can see the course just instantly diverts down and that lines up with the runway so that's that's pretty cool that's what we're going to be doing in the future so that should be fun indeed maybe I should lose start losing some altitude but then oh we are losing altitudes that that's a good thing just try and just keep it going 
Yeah, we're not exactly on course, but who cares? Who cares? I thought it was going to be going like past like over that over that island, but maybe, obviously not. Obviously not indeed. So one thing I don't understand about prop aircraft is the, the proper mixture. I don't understand it at all. Please, please inform me of what that even actually does, because I really don't know. I don't know how it all works. All I know is that there is a throttle and it does stuff. This is a useless camera. In fact, is it what airport is this? Can we see the um, A320? I can't hear it. Oh well. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Everything decided not to load then. Come on game, work with me here. Work with me here indeed. So we're 30, apparently 30 miles away from Hana Airport. It's Molokini, the top of an extinct volcano. The crescent shape protects the reef from the elements, so it's one of Hawaii's most popular dive sites. Right. About 250 different species of fish down there. Very nice. That's a lot. That's a lot of fish. I'm hungry. That's a lot of fish. Um, yeah, we won't. We won't eat Hawaiian fish today. 